What's up, family? It's Chris, and you're watching Bad Outside TV. I have my dad with me again today. The coach of all coaches. And you guys already know the deal, so we're going to get right into it. Em oh, why the light? Sit back. The light got real bright. Emo Rule said, Jim Jeffries and Mark Hunt don't even register. They may get a bar gig, but that's it. Australia's best known naughty boy is Kevin Bloody Wilson. For over 30 years, he sells out at clubs along with other guy Rodney Rule. Americans may have difficulty understanding some slang, but Kevin is also popular in Britain, Ireland, and Canada. Warning, adults only listen to Kev's earliest hit, Living Next Door to a Lion, referring to Alan Bond, the man who won the America's Cup back in 1983. The Americans held the cup for over 140 years until then. Check out an Aussie favorite, Kevin Bloody Wilson. This is it. Blast. Kevin Bloody Wilson, Blast. Living Next Door to a Lion. Alan, I mean, I don't know why I said that. Alan, Alan, you heard that? Living next door to Alan, it's Alan. I just corrected myself. Thank Alan, you. I like that. Before we, is that Alan? Before we get, before we get into the video, you guys already know the deal. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Is that who that? Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Hit that notification bell to get a notification when is I upload, Alan? and subscribe to join the family. But as always, if Alan calls you, you hang up. Because his name is Alan. Uh, the coach will not take care of you, but... He will give you good advice. Now let's get into the video. I came down from Mika Thara in a bird out blue FJ. But Martin and just shit itself in Jutland Parade. Right next door to Bondi's. When the smoke had cleared, a voice said, Hey, this place look all right. We'll tell the government it's a sacred site. Dead fucking easy, eh? Good day, Mr. Alan Bond. How you going, bloke? Hey, I'm your brand new neighbor. Hey, mate, you got a smoke? And I think I'm gonna like it here. Living next door to Alan. 24 kids, 9 adults and 15 dogs A dead roo on the roof rack and a bootload full of grog And I'm Flash's Michael Jackson, now I'm living next door to Alan Michael Jackson, hey, <laughs> the singing wetsuit <laughs> You know, see where he's trying to get a monkey on tour with him They won't let his monkey in England And I know why he carries a monkey with him, you know it's for fucking spare parts. <laughs> and you notice too that he always wears one white silk glove? You ever notice that? That's so I can tell when he's finished his fucking Mars bar. <laughs> what was that? Some kind of bath. He wears um, one kind of glove. I thought he said a glove. Mars bar. Yeah, so you can know when he's done with his Mars bar. I don't know. <laughs> what is he saying? His hands are that color? That's the, the candy? I don't know. That what he's saying? Speak up, fella. Hey, bloody girl, I understand ya. The first thing that we gotta do is get another car. Cause the one sitting out the front won't even fucking start. We'll call that block again from the government. He's alright, he may look after us, boys. So they call the bloke in charge of all the government grants And the next day in the driveway was a new Mercedes Benz Hey Edwin, come and have a look at this one This one's flash, it's got a wireless Good day, Mr. Alan Bond, there you going, mate You got a real flash car, but my one's flash one, eh? And I believe that my one's faster than yours, Mr. Bond But mine's a red one 24 kids, 9 adults and 15 dogs Lost bloody mate. What in the hell are you yapping about? You're yammering on about. Living next. Uh, Alan. Who is Alan? <laughs> Who is this bloody mate? I know he wanted a fucking cup way back in the day. Yeah. All squeezed in the front seat with the wireless turn full on. Listening to Slim Dusty now, they're living next door. Alan. It's 
Alon. Just for that, I'm going to have a son and I'm going to name him Alon. Alon. <laughs> so Bondi called Ben Lexon and said, I want another yacht. Twice as big and twice as fast as what I already got. Alan. There's two L's in it. In case you didn't know, mate. <laughs> That's why I say Alan. That's a lot. No, because you can could, you could make a name and make them pronounce it however you want because you're the creator of the name. But it doesn't mean that you're right, mate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is Alan. Okay. Okay. Alan has two L's in it, mate. <laughs> Yeah, that'll fuck him. <laughs> so his neighbours called some welfare mob not to be outdone and got the HMAS Melbourne on some sort of government loan. It's got me neck and they just said they're going fishing for yabbies in the Swan River, eh? Good day, Mr. Alan Bond. There you go, and mate. You got a real flash boat? But my one's flash one, eh? And I think I'm gonna put him in the river next door. The Allen's. Alon. Fifteen dogs, nine adults, two dozen screaming kids with lines strung from the flight deck, trying to catch some fish, fishing, swimming, pissing in the river next door. Alan. So Bondi threw a party the likes you've never seen and invited everybody from the premier to the queen. Your turn. We'll try that again, right? I'm thinking this mate, brother, would be the freaking Bob uh, Ross, the the piner. Yeah, you know the bloody mate. He sits around. Oh, I'm gonna talk about pinting. Get out of here. Take two. So Bondi threw a party the likes you've never seen and invited everybody from the premier to the queen. Your turn. So his neighbours baked Bungara on a barbie on the lawn and invited all their relatives from Mika Thara to come down. Hey Edwin, don't you forget to bring a big plague and a wobbler. There's a party on at my house, eh? I don't know why he's leaving or where he's gonna go. He said he's got his reasons and I reckon that I know. He just never got used to living next door. To Alan. To Alan. To Alan. Alan. <laughs> it's Alan. There's two bloody L's in it, mate. Dabos. He's jumping up and down and he's making such a fuss. But at least we done got fucking coons live next door to us. Now we gotta get used to what did, you say? what did you just say? What did you say? It's that we don't have coons living next to us. Oh, Bob. Raccoons. Dad. Oh, oh, no. I'm like, oh, bloody, bloody Ross. Yeah, brother, the, pi the piner, the bloody pinter. I think he's got a limp wrist down on that one. Not living next door, Alan. It's Alan. <laughs> now we gotta get used to not living next door, Alan. Alan. <laughs> Alan. In the States, mate. Alan, there's two L's in it, mate. Two L's. Al, Len. A L L A N. Now, you take out one of the bloody L's, you become Alan. A Alan. A L A N. No. That's right, mate. I don't understand what this bloke was yammering about living next to Alan. Um, we didn't understand it, so you guys uh, know we couldn't just sit there and watch the video like you said previously when we didn't get what that other dude was talking about. So we had to come up with some stuff to talk about, as you guys see. So don't be in the comment section. They wasn't even talking about the video. Oh. No, that guy wasn't even talking about the video, and he was singing it. He was just yammering on about something. Who was Alan? Who was Alan? That was the guy that won the bloody cup. Oh, Okay. Well, America held a cup for 140 years. Okay. And this bloke came and wrestled away from Nebraska. Oh. And now we call him Alan. Oh, no, Alan. Well, if you guys want to see the video by yourself, the link is down in the description below. And so is my social media. Add me. Follow me. You already know the deal. But since this is the end, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.
Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Hit that notification bell to get a notification when I upload and subscribe to join the family. But as always, the coach will not take care of you, especially Alon. But he will give you good advice. See you guys in the next video. <laughs>